Somebody asked that, can you please make a video on masking in Photoshop, so your wish is my command, let's get started. Starting with our first example, so here I have got a background, and over that I got this shape. Now what if I want to remove some part of this circle, so I will simply gonna select my eraser tool, and erase it. Now what if I want this part back, but I cannot really do it. I would have to press Ctrl plus Z, but the bottom part also came back, which I didn't want to happen, so when you use an eraser tool, you cannot really go back, which in a right language called destructive, means eraser is a destructive tool. So this is when you use a mask, just simply add a layer mask to your circle. Then select your brush tool. And always remember that white on masks shows up means reveal, and black on masks hides means remove. So if I paint with black as my foreground color, remember foreground, the color on the top is called foreground, and the color on back is called background. So if I paint with black as my foreground color on my mask, it will basically gonna remove. And as you can see those black marks on the mask, Now, what if I want this part back, I can easily do that, by changing the foreground color to white, because it reveals. So if you paint with black, it will basically gonna remove whatever is on the layer, and white will, gonna reveal whatever is on the layer which in a right language called non-destructive, means you can easily go back, unlike eraser. Moving to our second example, so if you haven't noticed, every adjustment layer comes with a mask, so if I here add a exposure adjustment layer, to make the edges a little darker, let me just do it really quick. Now the whole images has become darker, but I just want the edges to be, so while my mask is selected, I will just gonna change my foreground color to black, and gonna paint in the middle, because it will basically gonna remove the darkness of exposure layer, wherever I paint with black, because black hides. Same with other adjustment layers, so if I here add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, and do some changes. Now I like how the grass is looking, but let's just get the real sky back to what it was, so I will just gonna paint with black on this sky, because black hides and white reveals. So here we are with our last example, so for some reason you want to make this look like that, this dragon is actually underwater, and not just floating on it, so just add a layer mask and paint with black. and to get it back just paint with white, because black hides and white reveal. And turns out, that most of you who watch my videos, aren't actually subscribed, so if you like the content and wanna support the channel, then please do it, it's free, and you can always change your mind later.